Get ready, because within the next five minutes, we will be installing and configuring Active Reports Server. Before we get started, let's review the system requirements. Next, let's download the fully functional trial version. Be sure to enter your work email address and check your spam folder to make sure you get the welcome email with your exclusive product key. Be sure to save your welcome email because you will need the product key for activating your trial evaluation. To start the installation, let's run the Active Report Server installation executable. Review the license agreement and select the checkbox to move forward with the installation. Because we are installing a new Active Report Server instance, we will choose the Server option. Continue with the default option to install the managed agent on the same machine. Continue with the default installation folder as shown. Use the defaults to create a new Active Reports server site with its own configuration settings. Use the default website name and port number and select Next. We will now configure new user credentials for the Active Reports server website. We will also configure new user credentials for running the Windows services. Next, the Active Report Server installation will begin based on the options selected. This should not take more than a couple minutes. Once the installation is completed, we will move on to configuring Active Report Server. As a first step in the configuration process, we will create an administrator account for Active Report Server. This user will have access to all administrative features. You may want to save these credentials for future reference. Next, we will configure the SMTP settings for emailing scheduled reports as well as for using the Forgot Password feature. The next step is to activate your Active Report Server trial evaluation by selecting the Activate New License link as shown. You can now enter the product key that was included in your welcome email. Select the option to agree with the terms and conditions and continue on to the next step. On this screen, the authentication number has been automatically generated. Select the link to open the online activation website. This may take a few moments, so it is best to wait. The product key and authentication numbers should be automatically populated in the online activation form, but if they are not, you can simply copy and paste them there. Press the Send Request button to generate the license key. This is an important screen, so it may be a good idea to save it for future reference. Enter the license key from the web page into the configuration screen to activate your Active Report Server license. Press the Next button to complete the configuration process. You are now ready to use Active Report Server. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Grape City.